My grandfather was diagnosed with prostate cancer. It was unfortunate that other forms of cancer took his life. So it is something that is hereditary in my family, so I have to be aware of it. But I think being involved with this tournament and getting other people involved, again, awareness is the key to everything. And the more guys we get out in front of us and the more knowledgeable they are to this disease, the faster we can cure it. I'd been attending the event years before as a guest of a, another sponsor, and uh, John Goodwin approached me to uh, get involved deeper, and I didn't hesitate. You know, it was one of those things that I saw there was a need there. I had a family history of it, and really being in the room and learning you know, how preventable it is with just a little bit of knowledge is something that it really got my fire burning, and it was something I was honored to step up and, and do. Cancer affected me directly. My grandfather died from prostate cancer in 1974. My father had his prostate removed. I'm in a very high risk group, and I have a 24-year-old son who will also one day have to get tested and be careful. The score for the Cure event is a golf tournament that we hold in, at the end of uh, September, beginning of October, to raise funds for prostate cancer research. My goal was to grow it to this point, and it did start out that way, and then it started to wane a little, and then when John joined us, the, the uh, tournament went back on an upswing. I think some of the biggest moments that stick in my mind about this tournament usually happen as I'm greeting people as they walk in, and you see, you see the men that show up, and the men that are prostate cancer survivors that come to you and thank you for your help and what you've done to promote and educate people about prostate cancer. Because as we all learn through this tournament, it is beatable, but early detection is the key.